we're going to dock out. And first of all, by the joystick, I'm moving laterally. And then forward. So the maneuver becomes very, very easy. With the joystick, you can move the boat in any direction. You can rotate the boat on herself, both sides. So you don't need a bow thruster. The boat is very, very easy to maneuver. Then we leave the joystick and we go with the normal throttle. The 43 Wally Tender is uh, the latest born in the Wally Tender range. Uh, last year we launched the 48 Wally Tender and the 48X Wally Tender. The X version is the one with the outboards. Today we're on board uh, the 43 Wally Tender. It's got uh, two stern drives and later this year we're, we're going to launch, just like its bigger sister, we're going to launch the Wally Tender 43X. This new uh, Wally Tender 43 has born like the other Wally Tenders as a day boat. But uh, this time we wanted to have a much more comfortable cockpit, more sheltered by the wind, by the sun. I like to stress the fact that it's very versatile in the back because before we started drawing the 43 Wally Tender, um, we talked to a great number of owners of Wally 45s, uh, the first tender that was ever made, and the 47 Wally tender that was made in the past. The cockpit is made with uh, a huge um, glass all around and in front uh, the glass doesn't have the structure on top that usually uh, doesn't allow to have a perfect visual. And on this boat, you don't have any of these features, structures in composite or in metal, and you have a fantastic view from any point of view. So this gives you a number of square meters that on a 43 footer is un untold about. Uh, actually, you need to go to boats that are nearly 10 feet larger to be able to get the same usability, the same space usage outside. We decided not to just create one boat that can be used only in one way. We decided to create ourselves a platform that can be used in many different ways. So if you look at the stern part of the boat, it's been left completely free because we can have a situation where you can use big sun pads, which you'll see, um, or you can put a sunbed, or you can also put a towing post for having fun, uh, pulling around, or this could be a tender to a mega yacht, so you want to have different configurations that you can change also from one day to the other, so ease of configuration. It becomes really a convertible boat, or it can even be a support boat for a big sailing boat, cruising boat or racing boats. When you're racing, you want to bring around your sails, the back is completely open. Or if you're crazy about going scuba diving, you don't need to buy any more a rib or a boat made just for that. You can have from us, we can supply you with uh, holders for scuba diving tanks. So this hot top of the 43 Wall Tender has a full uh, sailing heritage, not only by the cloth of the sails that uh, we use, but also the full structure is made in carbon fiber, which again makes uh, the hard top very light and also allows to use only two pillars to sustain it. And the two pillars uh, gives the vantage to have a full visibility, 360 degrees visibility, which, as I said, it's always a good safety feature outside at high speed, inside the harbor when you are maneuvering. At 43 feet, we actually decided to pack this boat with everything that the owner really needs and his family to enjoy a fantastic day at sea. So 
you can find an ice maker, two fridges, you have space for extra ice boxes. You can fit the boat with a generator. The generator can be used to run the Seakeeper, but it also can be used to run the optional air conditioning that can be fitted downstairs, but also in the cockpit, so that for those climates that are very humid, you can keep down the temperature. On the 43 Wally Tenda, we have a sea keeper uh, because we believe that today boats of this size uh, need to have a, a sea keeper that gives uh, the fantastic stability in any condition, maybe and mainly when you are at the anchor. Uh, the sea keeper could be energized by a usual traditional generator or by a pack of lithium batteries. Uh, giving up to six hours of uh, range of usability and you can also help the uh, the batteries having their hard top with all solar panels on top and this will lengthen the uh, I mean the life of the batteries so the the day of use of the sea keeper it could be could become eight, nine, ten hours. The 43 Wally Tender comes as standard with two opening platforms on the sides. This creates the biggest platform at the stern of a boat at 43 feet by at least 50% than anyone else in the market. Another optional feature that we decided to give is the hydraulic passerelle ladder boarding ladder, boarding passerelle, but also ladder for coming out of the water. And again, a standard feature of this boat is to have the new innovative system of the bow, the, the stem of the bow opening up and the anchor coming out. The beauty of it is that you can use it all from here in the cockpit without having to go and opening it from the bow. Wally was the first one to introduce uh, metallic paint colors on boats at the end of the 90s. So we decided to do the same thing also on our Wally Tender range. This boat actually comes with a brand new color called a Gator Green in honor of the Wally Gator, which was the first sailing yacht in 94 launched by Wally Yachts. This green has a metallic shade that changes completely in the sun and in the shade and gives amazing, uh, amazing looks for your boats. On top of this, we have another five standard colors that you can choose out of our optional range. And we do offer a custom version, which is a color that you can pick yourself and have your Wally made only in that color. The central cockpit, huge, of the Wally 43 is fit in the original hull of all the Wallys, which is a kind of double hull, a hull with a very deep uh, V on the back, but an ultra deep V on the bow, so you can go very fast. The Wally 43 goes 40 knots uh, in flat, calm waters, but as soon you have very rough conditions. Uh, with the interceptors, you can lower down the bow and using what we call the ultra uh, deep V hull, and you really cut the waves like with a knife. On the 43 Wally Tender, uh, we have two Volvo engines with uh, two stern drives, because on this size, the stern drives are more efficient and also allows much more flexibility in the use of the boat because you can uh, raise them up to out of the water uh, which means that you can go into shallow waters you can go close to uh, a beach close to your house if you have a house a villa pied dans l'eau now we try the 43 wally tender at speed. So we will see the generous acceleration, the speed and the maneuverability of the boat. Let's go. We are ready 20 knots, 25, 30 knots, 35 knots, 
39. Now I put down the interceptors and you will feel the difference. The boat will stabilize. We go back again to feel how smooth is the hull through the wave, which is the real unique characteristic of any Wally Howl. Big wave, and you don't feel anything because we had the bow down by the interceptors. 43 Wally Tender is perfect size because at 43 feet with this central cockpit kind of configuration, it's been optimized by giving a nice space in the bow, walk around, beautiful driving area, great space where to enjoy your day sitting down in the shade, and fantastic space in the back that can be very versatile.